Hello Collective. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are returning, welcome back. So here we are. Um, we're doing the reading for um, the solar eclipse, new moon, and Taurus. And um, I already connected with the energy. I already called in my spirit guides. I already meditated. And um, the major themes at this time for this uh, uh, new moon here, the energy is gaining momentum. Uh, the major themes is um, Taurus is an earth is an earth sign. It is a feminine sign, and Taurus has um, has to do with our tangible reality. Um, it has to do with our senses, touch, hear, taste, smell, and see. This wants to keep coming out. The, the energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, you guys, we have a lot of uh, events happening right now, right? We of course we are starting um, the eclipse season, so this month. Um, as well as uh, May, and then we're, we're going to have October and November also eclipse. But let's just uh, stay focused on the recent events that, that we have taking place. We have Pluto going retrograde in Capricorn on the 29th. And then we have we are we are starting already the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. Mercury goes retrograde May 10th. So there's a lot of uh, energy right now. Um, new moons are great because, you know, new moons is when we set our intentions for what we're trying to manifest, right? So the, the eclipses, it's just, uh, it, it's kind of, uh, it boosts it, right? So it makes it, it's more powerful, it's stronger, the intention that you set. So it is a good time, we're already in this energy, so it is a really good time to start um, writing down your intentions or meditating on your intentions, right and then and then releasing it surrendering it to the divine so we are we are getting significant boosts to work with our tangible reality and the things that we can touch hear taste and smell taurus correlates with the land having to do with fertility and abundance we are getting a, a boost to work with our tangible reality to make it more abundant and more fertile at this time taurus also has to do not also, but Taurus has to do with our uh, stability, security, and and um, it is a feminine sign ruled by Venus, which it, a lot of times um, contributes to fertility and abundance. Taurus is about the things we have in our dis uh, in our disposal uh, currently at this time. Um, it's about practicality also and creating a practical plan. This can be gifts, skills, talents, things we have, or it can be possessions, things that we own. We are getting a boost to work with what we currently have in our disposal in order to bring in more stability and security. We're getting a big boost and getting more confident with, with our, within ourselves. And it also has to do with the things that we value, okay? Including ourselves, right? All right, so let's see here, Spirit, what does the collective, uh, message for the collective here, guidance for the collective for the new moon and Taurus uh, partial solar eclipse luck is on your side wow beautiful energy at this time so if you guys are getting ready to um you know uh, put something out right um, sh uh, showcase your gifts and your talents right now is a good time um because luck is on your side okay so this is uh, sagittarius energy what else for the collective for the new moon in taurus solar eclipse spirit you are good enough virgo energy here so um again <laughs> whatever it is that you're wanting to create in your reality at this time taurus energy is about our reality right tangible the things that we can touch taste hear and smell um right now is a good time <laughs> uh, there is a you know we were talking about how taurus um it also has to do with our confidence right it is sacral chakra energy so um you could benefit from, from, even though Taurus is an earth sign, it is a feminine sign. That's why I mentioned it's uh, um, Empress energy, right? Sacral chakra energy, Venus, right? Um, you could benefit if you're, if you're, if you're uh, feeling a little, a little nervous or a little scared about putting your work out there or having some fears regarding make, taking some kind of action towards a dream, a goal, or a desire. Uh, this is this is, spirit is reminding you of your value, right? That you are good enough. Okay, um, there are definitely some adjustments that's being required right now, and you could um, 
really benefit from doing a sacral chakra guided meditation, a confidence guided meditation if that's the case, and keep doing it until you naturally feel better about yourself. We have here believe in the impossible. One more for the collective spirit. For hold your vision. Hold your vision. And then we do have here the energy is gaining momentum. So whenever you do feel that burst of energy to get something done, right? Um, the universe is saying, you go first and I will catch you. You make the first move, right? Be bold and make the first move. So um, there is here a, a sense of needing to feel good enough, right? Um, and have the confidence if you're in the process of manifesting something here that's important to you. Um, the energy is supporting you, okay? The universe is supporting you. The momentum that you feel to do it, right? Um, like right now, for example, I, um, I've, I've, been, I've felt a really strong momentum, a really strong energy to post this reading, right? And I did it, okay? Uh, we're talking about here, when you say fixed energy here, a Virgo, a fixed moon, Vir not Virgo, sorry. Taurus is a fixed sign. So it really is about holding your vision without attaching yourself to the outcome uh, with confidence that, that whatever it is that you're going for here, collective, that it, it's, it's going to work out, right? For your best and highest interest, okay? We have, wow, look at that. Be bold and make the first move. Under that, we have expect powerful change. I can't make this up. There you go. Um, when you make this move, it, you're being, take time to breathe out, come back to center because you're very close to achieving your goal here. Have faith in your dreams, okay, and surrender to the divine. When you make this move here, it's, it's up to you. I think I posted about it on, um, on Instagram at infinite underscore love 1111. You guys, please follow me there. Um, you guys can c contact me there as well. And the information to reach me for personal readings in the description box below. But it, it is infinite underscore. No, it's not underscore. It's infinite love. Um, infinite love tarot, I believe, at gmail.com. But the information to that is in the description box below. But anyway. When you do make this move, um, please take this reading as it resonates. And thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel to grow and it helps the message to reach those that need it. Um, uh, needs to hear the message. When we're talking about uh, right here, making the first move, this move, this manifestation of yours is requiring your action. That's when... Um, you're, getting, you're getting a boost here with this eclipse energy that is showing up sorry i don't know if you could read that the lighting sheesh <laughs> I don't know. you're getting a boost here okay so um now is a good time right to to act on whatever it is that you're trying to uh bring bring into your reality okay exactly what we talked about here right that this energy is supporting you it has to do with, uh, pay attention to what your, your senses is trying to tell you, okay, at this time. All right, let's go. Let's move on from this. Spirit, what else does the collective? I want this reading to low today. So um, I'm working on my time, you guys. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, Spirit, what else? This, this deck. This, the card stock is, oh, look at that, the moon. <laughs> the card stock is very thick, so this deck is a little hard to shuffle. So I, that's why I don't use this deck very often, but um, I was called to it today. So I said, all right, let's do it. And my hands are, my hands are small. All right, spirit. So Sagittarius energy here with the luck is on your side. Sagittarius energy really is, you know, that real confident, adventurous, you know, um, uh, archetype, right? So you're being asked to channel the Sagittarius energy and take inspired action, 
right? Fire energy, take inspired action towards uh, whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest and create in your reality. It's different for all of you guys. For some of you guys, it has something to do with career, right? Education. For others of you guys, it could just even be, you know, uh, it could be about love, right? And relationship, taking a chance on love, you know, um, going after uh, take being bold right and making that first move and going after the person of your dreams um, or putting yourself out there to meet new people you know you are good enough it really is about you knowing your worth here and your value right and be truly believing in yourself all right let me go ahead yeah look at that look at this come up you have what it takes that this is you know Taurus energy right king of pentacles here you have what it takes collective believe in yourself yeah remember that's exactly what i said just now this is a sagittarius energy spirit said luck is on your side take action be bold right you're feeling um um what is it um luck is on your side as you follow your renewed passion towards your love life and your career sagittarius energy they're the nomads the explorers the adventurers the travelers right um uh they 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 you know fire energy here look at this horse spirit is 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 intuitively guiding you through sign synchronicities and, and pushing you towards this this uh this action here that you're being asked to take now is the time to act what else here for the collective spirit for the new moon solar eclipse and taurus Okay, so we're at a stalemate here. That's why Spirit is saying it's time to act, right? We're at a crossroads. We're at a stalemate, two of swords. Not sure which direction to go. Um, Spirit, that's why Spirit is saying it's okay that you don't see. You don't have to, to see everything or know everything. Just go within. See the water behind here, her? Go within here. Plant your feet on the ground. Go see the moon, new moon, right? Go within and um and um and listen to your feelings water your emotions your intuition right um go within for wisdom go within for guidance feel what your intuition is trying to tell you water here feel what whatever you don't see here you can feel it trust that and go with that okay that's why spirit is saying the second that you make up your mind and you make a decision on whatever it is that you want here, um, the second that you do that, collective, that's when the universe is going to uh, back you up, okay? It really is about making that, holding your vision, making that decision, making that choice. For some of you guys, you're not sure about what you want here, okay? And the universe is saying, it's time to make a decision. Clearly decide. Tell the universe, this is what I want, and the universe is going to back you up. Here we go. Yep, you are, the stars are aligning for this opportunity here. You are backed up, right? We we have the star card here and the star card Aquarius energy, and then we have Taurus energy, Virgo, or, Virgo or Capricorn, Earth, right? The star is telling you that the stars are aligning. This is fated. This is destined for you. Um, this, whatever it is that you're going towards, the star is also um, telling you that you have a wish coming in. Um, to have faith, right? To follow your 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 imagination and your inspiration here. This is this is a card of inspiration. It is a card of also healing. So it's telling me connected to this King of Pentacles here that you're ready. That you're making the situation more complicated than it needs to be. What else to the collective here, Spirit? For the New Moon, Solar Eclipse, and Taurus. I'm also going to do um, the Taurus season collective reading and also the Taurus birthday reading. So look out for that. What else, Spirit? Those I find to be, wow, again, crossroads energy all day, 2-2 two, two already. So there is a strategy here. Here's the moon. What are we strategizing? Moving towards our, moving, moving towards our Ten of Cups? A commitment or something yeah this is love this is love we're unsatisfied where we are there's a lot of distractions there's a lot of things it's just bored discontent apathy right there's a lot of contemplation here too much thinking 
too much thinking and it's because of some kind of a fear you know but the path here is being illuminated this this i feel like this new moon solar eclipse is illuminating a huge path here that is guiding you towards you know taking action towards something that makes you feel so happy and emotionally fulfilled okay this could be travel traveling to family members or traveling um I, I believe that this is about love, a new beginning in love here. Like I said earlier, um, this 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 energy, this this uh, this new moon eclipse here in Taurus. There's Taurus, higher font. There's Taurus is really pushing you, really helping you, really supporting you here in this action that you want to take um, regarding starting this new beginning here in love follow your cups is emotions water element here right water remember i mentioned the water follow that follow how you feel okay what is your intuition telling you okay what is your emotions telling you you could benefit from clearing up balancing out your sacral chakra here okay um and it and it is most likely about a commitment here marriage even you know um it could be school, right? Um, you know, the higher form represents organizations, you know, um, institutions, right? It's also about your belief system, commitments, the institution of marriage, um, and the Ace of Cups. This is something you really want. This is a manifestation. This is something that, that makes you feel extremely emotionally fulfilled and your intuition is guiding you, the moon. It is your fears that is holding you back, not feeling good enough, perhaps, from going after this love it's looking like. Um, the moon is the feminine energy, which I did mention that Taurus is feminine energy. The moon is your is your creativity, is your intuition, right? Um, and there is, there is um, a fear of commitment, I just heard. Let's continue. What else, Spirit? So we already have two twos. So you could be seeing two, two, two or twos. There's a strategy here, but lack of movement. That's why Spirit is saying be bold and make the first move. What else, Spirit? Well, here's the King of Pentacles again. So this King of Pentacles showed up three times already. So this King of Pentacles wants to come in and work and, 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 and collaborate. Could be work-related because, you know, King of Pentacles is about... Secu it's security, it's stability, it's finances, right? This is something that's worth fighting for. Um, and, and look at that. The Wheel of Fortune is turning. Right now, Ju this is Jupiter. This is Sagittarius energy. Even though this is the four fixed signs, it's telling you the time is now. We have another two here. Stop procrastinating and going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You know what to do. You know what to do. King of Swords. Too much strategy, too much planning, too much plotting here. You know, too much running, escaping, and denying the truth. It's time to face the, to face the truth, right? So, um, somebody wants to work with you. This could be work related, could be love. Uh, it's different for all of you guys. Uh, somebody wants to collaborate, right? Somebody that sees your value and sees your worth. There is like a recognition here, okay? Um, you don't have to be perfect. It, nothing has, not, there is no such thing, right? That's when you know it's not authentic, uh, when somebody tries to be, to be perfect. But there is here, um, a huge energy of somebody that is, um, ready. This king is very successful. This king is uh, a planner. This king is practical, uh, generous, kind, loyal, he, this king, he or she is, um, very well manifested in the material world, a very Taurus energy here. Um, this king wants to put in time and effort now towards whatever it is that, that they're trying to accomplish, right? Um, whether it's career or coming together with somebody in love. Okay. But this king is, um, successful, stable, secure. He knows his worth. He knows his value. You know, he has a lot to offer. He's a provider, a protector, you know, um, he, he likes, uh, acts, he, his love language tends to be, uh, um, affection. Yes. 
but also acts of service, right? Um, he, he likes to feel needed as well. He likes to be of service, okay, to others. Um, all right, let's move on. I'm going to clarify the two of swords here, Spirit for the Collective. Clarify this. Wow. Three of swords. Okay. So um, this, this, this stalemate, this, this indecision is heartbreaking is what I'm getting. The stuck energy is, is not helping anybody. It will lead to heartbreak because two and then we have the three here. Okay. Um, it could be that in the past also somebody couldn't decide or didn't see things clearly. They were in denial and it created, um, they made a bad judgment call and it created some pain here. And um, uh, they let interferences come in. We did see the four cups, right? Distractions and interference. And I'm seeing this as well, given to more than one person, you know. Um, but this is about love, it's looking like. There is some kind of a reconciliation, it's looking like, or a reunion. But somebody is spending a lot of time planning and feeling stuck. And this stuck energy is heartbreaking, I'm getting. Or somebody is trying to come out of this heartbreaking situation here of um, indecisiveness and stalemate. And, um, and now they're getting, they're getting a lot of messages from spirit with the wands. Wands represent spirit. It is the fire in your belly, right? And getting ready to act here. Uh, clarify the two of wands for the collective for this new moon solar eclipse. The higher fun. There you are. I mean, not there you are. <laughs> there is the Taurus energy here, right? Um, I'm getting also that there could be some stubbornness here, right? And um, somebody wants it their way. I just heard that. Wants it their way. Um, we have, like I said, there's, this person is being guided by spirit with the higher font here coming out. It is really a matter of having faith, okay? And believing in, in faith is believing in what you don't see or touch, which could be difficult during Taurus energy because Taurus is about the senses, seeing, feeling, touching, hearing, right? And it's like, if I don't see it, you know, I don't see it. I'm having a hard time having faith. I don't see it. So how do I know I should take the, make this move? I don't see my way ahead. I don't see the future. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I don't want to be heartbroken. There's like a blockage here, right? Uh, that needs to be removed from the heart area. Swords represents air and air is heart chakra. Okay. So there is, could potentially be a, a heart chakra blockage that's in the process of being removed, right? So there really is a need to have faith here, okay? And going in a different direction from wherever you are. Um, and there is a lot, it's going to work out because luck is on your side and you are good enough, okay? Um, everything that represents Taurus is this Hierophant card. It's a card of leadership. It's a card of spiritual um, growth. It's a card of religion and spirituality. It's a card of belief system. Okay. It, it's a, it's a belief system shift, a perspective shift here that needs to happen for this move to take place, right? For, um, it's like you have everything that you need in the palm of your hands here. Okay. You have all of your resources, which we talked about, right? Taurus is about having all of your resources, you know, the it's about the tangible reality here. It's about acting. This could be an illusion here. These fears, these things that have been holding you back. See, Taurus is about the things we have in our disposal. You have everything that you need in the palm of your hands here. This could be gifts, skills, talents, things we have, or our possessions, things that we own, right? And with this King of Pentacles here, you have all the earthly resources that you need to make this happen. So... It's a wish of yours. So Spirit is saying, go, go, go for it. Take a leap of faith. Okay. It is something that you desire. So yeah, like I said, you go first and the universe will catch you. It's time for action. It's time to be bold and make the first move. Again, Sagittarius energy, fire energy here of action, right? It is time to get out of hermit mode. Get out of the 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 the, the uh, puddle, uh, the pity puddle, a puddle of pity. <laughs> you know, you you and 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 explore, 
spread your wings and fly here this is a card of manifestations are coming in the wait is over T stop waiting what are we waiting for right you have everything that you need now to go after what you want here this is a card of um looking out towards the future having big dreams here it's a card of expansion with the three the three is empress energy of creation right everything that you put out that you are intentions that you put out here your intentions that you put out here with the two of wands is getting ready to manifest but it's requiring you grabbing this wand it's about you you grabbing the wand the inspiration right it's about you grabbing the oops sorry my bad this fell on the floor it's about you grabbing this wand and 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 leaping leaping <laughs> so the universe is going to catch you leaping towards your wish your desire here okay wow look at that trusting your intuition look at this look at these aces here we also we saw all four aces already we saw the ace of cups earlier and now we're seeing you have a new beginning a brand new chapter here waiting for you now we have the ace of wands the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords you know what to do you, your intuition is really strong right you have the high priestess here you know what to do i feel like you feel it it's just a matter of now all you got to do now is just act take a leap of faith believe in yourself right don't let anything block you anymore that's not meant for you or right here do the heart chakra work do this the sacral chakra work here right and um and take a leap of faith okay towards um again i'm repeating myself you have aces here that's ready for you to claim the manifestation can't happen unless you take action on it okay so yeah same message as 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 usual um for the collective uh, on the channel um when i do the new moons and the full moon readings and i feel like the dust is starting to settle now after a lot of tower moments a lot of major changes right um the reconstructing of our lives and i feel like the path is being cleared and um, there is nothing really holding you back here okay let's find out more about this i feel like this is love for a lot of you guys so let's find out more about this spirit let's find out more about this love for the collective spirit what message here do you have for the collective regarding love for the new moon solar eclipse and taurus the energy is gaining momentum for this action. Don't miss out on an opportunity. We saw the four of cups. You potentially could miss out on an opportunity for procrastinating too much. You know what to do. Yes, you do. You know, you know that your dream isn't going to come to fruition until you act on it. It's already yours. It's already manifested in the in the spiritual world. Spirit, what does the collective here need to know regarding love? This for the new moon solar eclipse in Taurus reminiscing on on past precious moments uh, this I feel like this is um, a message all in itself right uh, that if you are having these these reminiscing thoughts you know mercury is already in shadow then that is a message for you that either you're needing to still heal from that three of swords right or or it's a message intuitive message that it's time for you to um make a move on those on on these uh intuitive messages that you're getting through your thoughts okay what else for the collective devotion hopelessly devoted to you yep there's somebody here um again from your past i feel that um is hopelessly devoted to you is focused on you that took there was some separation here time apart somebody could be at a distance uh so it took some time apart to to heal right from the, the three of swords here and it is your divine counterpart like i said took some time apart here okay to uh rest and recovery before a restart before a comeback and you guys are divine counterparts um wow this is beautiful hopelessly devoted 
So there is devotion here and loyalty and love, right? Think the impossible and the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Did we see that spirit under the deck? I thought I saw that somewhere earlier maybe when I was shuffling. Expect the unexpected at this time, okay? Because we are in an eclipse energy after all, okay? So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, all right, I'm going to pull a message from uh, guidance from the Sacred Forest Oracle. And then we can wrap up because I want this to load. The message is very clear. There's really nothing else I could get out of this reading. Spirit, what guidance do you have for the collective here regarding this uh, new moon eclipse in Taurus? Guidance for the collective. Somebody is reminiscing. Somebody that is hopelessly, hopelessly devoted to. Maybe someone is planning on proposing here. We saw the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Now we're seeing the Hierophant. And that's probably why it's, uh, <laughs> you know, there's a, there's some nerves that are coming up, right? There's Because they don't know. They've probably been away, apart from you for a while. Miracles. Believe in miracles. There's some uncertainty, right? There's some uncertainty that, that whatever it is that you're trying. There's some doubting and some uncertainty with the Two of Swords and the Moon card. But it really is about... You know, your deep inner knowing, right? It's your trust that. Make sure you clear your chakra so there is no confusion. Here, you can feel, see clearly your guidance, okay? Because it's 201, she's being guided. What else, Spirit, for the collective here? What guidance for Retreat. We have retreat. Where did I see that? Rest and recovery for, for a restart. It's time to retreat into your sanctuary. And that's how you're going to be able, a feminine energy, high priestess energy, that's how you're going to be able to um, get get your message, okay, uh, on which direction to go. 38. Right now it's time to retreat. It's a number, it breaks down to a number 11. So that's a huge message all in itself. All right, I'm going to read this to you guys. This card indicates that it's time to pull back from people and situations that do not empower or support you. Mm -hmm. Let go of anything or anyone that drains you and protect yourself from less than positive influences. It's time to renew your energy, incubate your dreams for the future, make plans for tomorrow right here, two of wands. But remember that this is a season of rest and recuperation. Wow. So you're being asked to rest right now. Rest and recovery. Take time out to rest. Winter is a time for replenishing your inner resources. Interesting that this is a winter card. Some of you guys are still going through the, you are still in the cocoon. Um, winter is a time for replenishing your inner resources. Care for your body and your health. Mend and organize objects in your home. Repair. So, the, so spirit wants you to, to, to um, Focus on your material world, okay? Your your possessions at home, right? To declutter your home. Repair whatever needs to be repaired in your life. Step into sacred silence and discover the, an the answers within. A part of springtime energy is coming. That's now. But you absolutely must be prepared and must create foundations. Oh, wow. Stability foundation is all what this uh, new moon Taurus energy is talking about must create foundations. Otherwise, it can seem overwhelming and destabilizing. Spiritually, winter is a season of retreat and renewal. It's the time to be still and take stock of your life and your future. The spirit guardian of winter reminds us to stop the busyness of life and relax. So there, there's a balance that needs to take place between the masculine and the feminine energy so that you can hear, especially right now at this time during this eclipse, okay? Um, to clear up whatever this two of swords is to heal from this three of swords okay i'm gonna pull from the romance angels and then we'll wrap up and i want to thank you guys for um tuning in today thank you guys for everything your love for your donations 
for decks that you guys purchased for me, um, for following me on, on Instagram, for reaching out to me. We have True Love here. This is the romance of a lifetime, hopelessly devoted to you. It's a beautiful message. I've been getting the Hold Your Vision card jump a lot lately. Somebody wants to take action towards their, their dreams and their desires. Only when this person be bold and make the first move. Only when, only when this person, whoever it is, you or somebody else makes this move that is going to be a beautiful, lucky, and blessed change in your in your life. Spirit. Okay. What message here and guidance do you have regarding love for the collective during this new moon, solar eclipse, and Taurus? We have here, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Beautiful. Um, this is talking about the angels and, of course, your soul family, your soul tribe. What else? What other guidance do you have for the collective during this? This could be the one. Somebody most likely wants to marry you. Okay, um, somebody needs help in regarding coming forward here, taking action. So somebody doesn't know what to do or how to do it. There is over analyzing and over planning. That's why spirits say retreat, go within so that you can um, get the answers that you're seeking within, which was the first thing I said when we started the reading here with the water, with the water behind the two of swords. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So it could, it might be a message for somebody to stop looking, stop resisting, right? What you feel in your heart here, okay? And um, there's, a, there's a reset button, a restart here regarding this connection. What else? What other message do you have for the collective for um, the new moon? Solar eclipse and Taurus regarding love. It's time to talk. It's time to have the heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. It's time to open up and somebody's feeling nervous about that. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And I feel like that's, that is, it's time to have the talk. And that's what's actually holding somebody back here. Somebody may have not intended to meet you new love, right? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. There's new energy here. For some of you guys, this is new love. For those of you guys, this is a rekindling of, of a, it's an old love showing up in a new way, right? Um, and, and probably what was blocked before, what you weren't able to get to know before, the person you knew before, after a huge period of transformation, rebirth, metamorphosis, reinventing of, of the self, right? Self-discovery. What you thought you knew before, the person you thought you knew, that, that's not who they showed up as, their true selves. And um, there's still more to get to know. There's still more revealing that needs to happen here, right? Um, so that so that you guys can start this passionate new beginning based on truth, rooted in love, so that it can be stable, to build a stable and solid foundation here, right? Uh, there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot that's, that, that still needs to be revealed, which I saw here at the bottom of the deck, unrevealed secrets. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be revealed regarding this connection. Could be how you truly feel about each other, you know, and... Um, true intentions towards each other and it's looking like the only thing that's holding this back is somebody you know feeling nervous about it right uh feeling a little not you know scared of the unknown but nevertheless this 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 partner this person this divine counterpart here is hopelessly devoted to you whether you can see it or not, whether it's, it's, you can touch it, hear it, smell it, taste it in your physical reality, in, in the ethers, in the 5D, in the 5D, this love has no end. It's undying. It's an undeniable, sacred, spiritual connection, right? And I feel like there is a pulling each other in here energetically. There's been a lot of healing. There's some regret here from the past with the Five of Cups that somebody made the wrong choice here with the Two of Swords. Um, but after spending a lot of time alone healing 
going within, doing the shadow work, the dark night of the soul, the introspection, the soul searching, the, um, you know, um, self-reflection here, gained a lot of inner wisdom, Virgo energy of you are good enough. Somebody has really healed self-love, really healed self-love and learned to mask, you know, heal their confidence here, learned to master their energy, took their power back here. And now, you know, they're preparing to take action. I feel like this person is not Go, as hopelessly devoted that this situation is, I don't feel, I feel like this person is just preparing here to a wands to come in and, and make a big gesture, a big move, a big offer here towards you. That's what I'm getting. All right, my loves, I hope that this uh, helped you. I hope you got the clarity, the insight, the healing, and um, the validation that you were seeking, the confirmation of your intuition. Um, with this message and if you guys would like to reach out to me for any healing sessions um, the information is in the description box below thank you so much you guys for tuning in i love you all so much and uh god bless much love namaste Mwah. take care till next time